Alright, this is the uh, Remington Model 7400 semi-automatic rifle. Uh, I know they have 270 and 30-06 for sure. Actually, I'm fairly positive about the 270, but uh, they have a few different calibers. Semi-auto. There's your bolt. It's uh, drilled and tapped for uh, scope mounts and bases. It's got a walnut stock on it. This is just a basic 30 odd 6 by Remington. It does come with uh, sights, iron sights. This has a uh, over under scope mount, but I will show you the younger version. This is the uh, predecessor, I believe, to the model 742. This one is a carbine. Uh, yeah, this is the older one. This rifle's in bad shape. It was my grandpa's. It uh, got burnt up in a house fire. This is just a keepsake to me, but it is an example of an older version of this rifle. Uh, they had really big mags for those. I don't know if you can get them for this one or not. But I do know they have like five round mags and I, maybe tens, I'm not sure. Well, yeah, it's a basic semi-auto. If you can see that or not. Yes, you can. That's perfect. Semi auto. There's a bolt. Uh, if you want to see more of the internals of this video, or of this gun rather, I can make a video. Just request it. I'll show you how to take apart this uh, front receiver or front of the stock to show how the operation of the semi automatic process works, which is fairly simple. It's just remove that bolt right there. Take out the two pieces, pieces. Take off the sling, and it reveals all the internals practically. Uh, this is for a good, gu good gun for the money. My bad, sorry. Uh, no, you can't beat it for the price. I prefer bolt actions personally, but this is a good gun. Uh, fine detail. It's pretty accurate. It's kind of heavy, kind of long, but what do you expect for a good deer hunting rifle? They can't all be perfect to everybody's specifications. But, uh, yeah. Good gun. Um, they've been around for quite a while. I know some of them, some of the older Remington 742s or 7400s or 740s or something like that had recalls on bad barrels, but... This one is fine. Nice gun. Recommend it to anybody looking for a little bit nicer rifle than like the XL7. If they aren't really a bolt action guy. I know you can still get the Browning BAR. It's also very nice. But uh, for the money, this is a good gun. That's pretty much it. If you want that video on how to take off this front portion of the stock, I can do that even though it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's the same on the 742s for all you who have one, which is also a very good gun, but just unfortunately I can't use that one because there's really nothing left of it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks or thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, see ya. More videos coming, coming soon.